giant desert hairy scorpion right on the edge of that pipe. See how they glow? Hunker down in ambush mode. Oh, now it's on the move. Oh, it's so nerve wracking to pick up one of these arachnids. When I was a kid, nothing was more terrifying than a scorpion. Armed with menacing pinchers, capable of skittering up walls, and topped off with a venomous stinger, these eight-legged arachnids were textbook examples of a living nightmare. I've seen things you won't believe. As an adult, I forced myself to face the fear of scorpions by being intentionally stung by one in 2014. Ah! Then in 2017, for some crazy reason, I decided to do it again with two scorpions. Ah, wowza. Why in the world would anyone want to be stung by scorpions? Ooh. The only justifiable answer is that I love to entertain and educate the coyote pack. Man, my finger's burning. You okay? Yeah. Tonight we are back in Arizona, the scorpion capital of the Southwest. And I am carefully rummaging around in the debris that surrounds an abandoned gold mine. This is the perfect setting to find a variety of invertebrate nightmares, but when it comes to finding scorpions, nothing is more helpful than the right flashlight. So, a normal flashlight is perfect for seeing things like Gila monsters, snakes, and tarantulas, but when it comes to finding scorpions, the best tool that you can use is a black light. That coloration will cause these arachnids to luminesce, and all of this wood is the perfect spot for us to search for that creepy crawly. Flipping over all these old crates is gonna, uh, it's gonna be quite the challenge. Let's see what we can find. Aside from using the right light, the only thing you need is a little patience and then before you know it, a scorpion will magically appear. Oh, right there, look at that. Giant desert hairy scorpion right on the edge of that pipe. See how they glow? Luminescent, that is perfect. You just turn a corner like that, and probably the last thing most people wanna see is a giant desert hairy scorpion, but that is exactly what we were looking for. Hunker down in ambush mode. Oh, now it's on the move. This is not a species that has a super toxic sting. It's about equivalent to a honeybee, and I can pick this up with my fingers, but I want to get it right where the telson meets that first knuckle of the tail. It is a delicate little balance, and oop, you stop right there. And I don't want to get stung in the process. Let's see. Stay. Stay. I'm always getting into strike mode. Okay. Oh, it's so nerve-wracking to pick up one of these arachnids, even though I know that it's not a super potent sting. Okay, I'm gonna actually just use these little pieces of plant to pin it down slightly. Keep that like that. And sometimes you just have to commit. Got it. Ah! So the pinchers won't do you much harm. It's really just that stinger that you have to watch out for. But it's such a cool thing the way that they Luminesce, check that out. Just glowing bright yellowish green. And that's why I say using this light to identify these scorpions is so obvious. The second you see a scorpion glowing like that, you know exactly what it is. But when it's just out there on the ground like this, it's completely camouflaged. And with a normal flashlight, you would barely even be able to tell that that creature was there. So cool. The body's actually very, very rigid. You may think that the scorpion is squishy, but this exoskeleton is very, very hard. So by holding it at this spot right here where the tail meets the telson, the telson is where all the venom is kept that then runs into the stinger. It is causing this animal no discomfort in any way whatsoever. In fact, you'd have to really stomp down on something like this with a boot to even stand a chance at crushing it. Very, very durable animal. 
These scorpions are feasting on a variety of small insects, other arachnids. They have these front pinchers, which they use to grab onto their prey, and then they will swing that stinger forward and inflict a sting, inject that venom, and that's how they neutralize their prey. And they do get bigger than this, and a larger giant desert hairy will even take things like small rodents. Now, there are three very distinct scorpion species that are here in the southwest. The giant desert hairy, which is the largest, the striped-tailed scorpion, which is rather small, and then the bark scorpion. The bark scorpion is the most potent, and a sting from that scorpion will, without question, put you in the hospital. On a scale of one to five, when it comes to potency of this potentially dangerous desert dweller, I would only rank the giant desert hairy as a two. While it is a painful sting, it is not something that's going to kill you. The bark scorpion, on the other hand, would rank as a five. It is one of the most painful and most dangerous stings that's out here in the Southwest. What a cool creature. All right, let's set this scorpion back down into the sand. Let's light it up and let it go. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Later, buddy. For the most part, these arachnids want to be left alone. And unless you try to interact with them, it's unlikely that you will ever feel the wrath of their sting. Personally, scorpions will always give me the willies. And while I dread the idea of one hiding in my bed sheets, they do work as an excellent ecosystem balancer, doing their best to catch, sting, and eat a wide variety of pest insects. Scorpions. You don't want to live with them, but you have to admit, they are pretty cool creatures. And to celebrate their glowing magnificence, we felt this episode deserved a one minute Scorpion nightclub remix video called Scorpion City. You can thank us in the comments section below. think scorpions are creepy, then I am willing to bet that the idea of a black widow crawling up and down my arms is going to make your skin crawl. Make sure to go back and check out this episode, and don't forget, subscribe and join memberships so you can brave alongside me and the crew on our next wild adventure. And I would never, ever recommend that somebody try to hold on to a spider like this. Oh.